you may have to turn it down some. It make us quit. And so we don't see the victory that is promised to us. Thank you, God. I'm willing to stay the course. I'm willing to stay the course. I'm willing to stay the course. You pray for me. Because as many of you I'm fighting for. Thank you, Lord. For real. Thank you, Lord. Many of you I'm fighting for. Thank you. That I'm fighting for. Hey, I'm not fasting because I'm saying, Lord, I want a bigger house. I'm not doing 30 days because I'm saying, Lord, I want me a nicer car. I ain't saying anything to God about nothing material. This is a giving of myself in order to see people be free. Thank you. And to see people walk out the plan and the purpose of God in their life. Yeah. Right. Because that's what's under attack. Yeah. That's what's under attack. Yeah. Care about car, house, fine and dandy. All those things will come if you do his will because he'll give you good gifts. Yeah. He's just that kind of God that'll present presents to you. Mm -hmm. He'll just show up out of nowhere with something for you. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know, So don't worry about that. But it's about what I am doing it for. It's about seeing victory throughout the lives of people. Amen. Seeing people come out of addictions. Seeing people come out of abusive relationships. Amen. Seeing people be restored back into the kingdom of God. And not only seeing people be restored back to the kingdom of God, but seeing sinners be converted to the kingdom of God. That's what it is about. It is about people seeing people give their whole hearts over to the cause of what they were put here for. Yes, man. How many people are not living in the reality? They are not living in the reality. They're living in what they have created or what they have projected, but not living in the reality of life. To not live in the reality of life means that I am trying to escape something. Because if the reality of it is, is I'm a black woman, that's the reality of it. But to try to live as any other woman would mean I'm trying to escape that. So you know how many people are not living in the reality of who they are? And when you don't live in the reality of who you are, and you don't live in the reality of what you're doing, then you begin to build a life based on lies. Everything goes into lies from there. From the moment the truth leaves the scene, lies start. Catch it again. The moment the truth leaves the scene, the lies start. What is the reality of who you are? What is the reality of who you are? You can't become a better you until you face the reality of who you are. You cannot become a better you until you face the reality of who you are. I've seen people try to do it. I've seen people associate themselves with certain sectors of people trying to escape the reality of who they are. But the reality of who they are is still right there. And you can only cover it for so long. So where is the truth in your life? Where is the truth? Where the truth is, the lie begins. Where the lie ends, the truth begins. What is the truth of your life? What is the truth of your life? I'm doing a series, and I'm in, I'm in part seven today. I've been in a series seven weeks today called Winning in Life. Winning in life. Winning in life. What is life? Life is the existence of a thing. The existence of a thing. We were created to win in this life. 
He did not create us to lose in this life. I'm going to show you how. When he created, did he create to lose? The, the fall of man is what brought about the losing. The fall of man is what brought about the losing. And so the rising of man is what will bring about the victory. So please don't stay in a fall. Rise to the place of victory. You're either going to be in life caught up in a fall or standing in a place of victory. He created us to win. He created us to win. He created us to win. Winning in life. Life, the Zoe life of God. Life does not have to end with an L. It doesn't have to. It doesn't have to end with an L. I don't want my life to end with an L, y'all. I don't want the conversation about me when this life is over for me to be more about my defeats than it is my big rebirth. When they talk about me, even if you do talk about any of my wrongs, I want you to still have to come back and say, but you know that girl changed. If you go talk about it, you know, I remember when she did such and such, but man, the Lord changed her life. Amen. She had become a preacher before she left here. I don't want it to be spoke of a place of fall and that be the place where I leave. Do you hear me? I don't want to leave this world in a position of failure. I don't. So this is when in life part seven and today we're going to talk about a word called overcome. Right. Overcome. Part seven, it is amazing to me, seven meaning the maturity. Seven meaning the maturity. And the Lord spoke to me seven minutes before coming out here. 1053, I looked at the clock, the Lord gave me what I'm going to preach. 1053. Sharika said she set my alarm clock away here and it didn't go off my old school after that. So I was late getting to the building and everything, but I sat in there in my office. I have sense enough to just sit still. Mm -hmm. And I sat still and at 1053 he started talking and I started writing. And he spoke the word overcome. I said, I want you to come with part seven today. It's going to be about overcome. Seven is the number of maturity, the completion of a thing, overcome. And so he gave me the definition, and he wants me to give of the word overcome. I didn't look at Webster's. The word overcome is nothing but to come over. Mm -hmm. The word overcome is nothing but to come over. <laughs> to come over. So I need y'all to think about some things in life. Anybody got something in here you need to come over? You didn't need to come over. You so sick of it overcoming you. Now you ready to come over it? I'm, I'm telling you, I have any people in here that want to overcome. You sick of it overcoming you. Yes, Lord. So the word overcome is to come over from blank. Let's go to Revelation. Revelation chapter 12. Winning in life, part seven, overcome. Overcome means to come over. Life is the existence of a thing. Revelation chapter 12.
Revelation chapter 12 and verse 11. Very familiar passage of scripture, but shall be received with power. It says this here, and they overcame him by the what? Of who? So let me ask you this. Why you keep trying to do it within your own self? Huh? Can I ask you that question? I'm just serious. I'm just asking a question. I'm just a preacher with the mic. Huh? Now, it clearly said y'all just read it. Because I had y'all to read it out loud just to show me that y'all can read. It says that they overcame who? The him, it refers to the devil. Okay? So you do know that the enemy is the devil, right? You do know that he don't like you, right? I need to make sure that y'all all know that the devil don't like you. Because I think some folks think they best friends with the devil. They think that they cool with him. They walking up to him throwing daps and all that fist bumps and all that kind of stuff. He ain't cool with you just so you know, all right? He got a purpose he's trying to serve. He just wants to outbeat God. That's all he care about. And so he don't care about who he used. That's the reason why the one of the most dangerous people to deal with in the world is someone that don't care about who they use. When they trying to prove a point, don't fool with people that trying to prove a point now. Because they'll mess over whoever they got to mess over just to get that point proved. It don't matter. So he's after a point. So it doesn't matter to him. So he's not your friend just so you know that. So don't be running up to the devil talking about he's my friend. What? Your friend? (laughs) Keep living like Miss Alice said. You gonna see. It says and they. Who is the they referring to? Somebody better say us. Who is it they referring to? That's right. And they overcame him, the devil. But what did it take for them to overcome it? So why are you trying to handle stuff on your own? Huh? Why are you out here talking about, well, you know, I'm trying to get it together, you know. I'm just trying to get myself together, you know. I'm just in here working on me. Well, you better put some blood on you. Now, you better put some blood on you because that joker can't deal with the blood, baby. You put blood on the doorpost and he got to pass that house on by. You go take go out there and cut your finger and put it on the doorpost and see if he stop coming right on in. You better get that blood of Jesus. That's where the power is at. You hear me? Don't you deal with no situation in your life. No situation in your life without you getting hold of Jesus. Amen. Any situation, I'm going to let me give y'all a side. got to help you for a minute. If you start dealing with situations within your own strength, I'm going to tell you what's going to end up happening. Your flesh is going to start getting in it. Your flesh is going to start taking over and a lot of carnality is going to start coming out. It's going to start being a whole bunch of lies and manipulation and deceit because that's all our flesh knows. Okay. I'm sorry if you think that the flesh going to profit anything good. But it'll make you put yourself in a position where you will be doing all kinds of stuff. Yeah. All kinds of stuff. You find yourself lying, shucking and jiving, manipulating, all kinds of stuff. If you don't handle it, With the blood. Anything. Catch what it said. And they overcame him. So anything that has the potential that is trying to overcome you, the way you get the victory in it, is through the blood. You ain't going to be able to push it up off you. I'm trying to help y'all if you will let me. You ain't going to be able to push it off you. I know a lady said, she was on drugs. She said, I woke up every day and would tell myself I'm not getting high today. She said, I find myself, by the time the day was gone, I got high again. It wasn't until 
She had her.